strange things, stranger things. I'm running up that hill just like Max. I'm spazzing like a demo Gorgon on this track. Rest in peace to Eddie Munson. Please bring him back. Please do it for the fans and for those you can't. What's up, guys? Cassidy and Sturp here. I'm back with another reaction video. And just to inform you guys again, I did just made a Discord today. So you can always go on my channel, hit the links, tap on that Discord link, and invite yourself to join the family chat. I greatly appreciate it. And I have Patreon coming very soon. But for right now, we're going to be reacting to the Crow 2024 official clip. Get in the back. <laughs> Man, so listen, bro, I a lot of people are crapping on this movie, man. A lot of people don't want it. A lot of people see this as a cash grab. Uh, rest in peace to Brandon Lee. A lot of people aren't really excited at all. Feel like a bad taste in their mouth that they're rebooting or renditioning the classic that Brandon Lee tragically left us with as his final film. And a lot of people do not like that. I guess his uh, Bill Skarsgård being Eric Draven and Shelley Webster from FKA Twigs, that's the chick who he falls in love with in the, in the um, movie. I think that they, a lot of people don't like that he's portraying Eric Draven, that he doesn't look like it, or they're not feeling those same vibes. So technically speaking, it's just not looking good all around the board for this. Uh, it, it seems like this film is dead on arrival. I still have, uh, listen, I've never watched the classic Crow. I don't know why. I just... It, it just, it it messes me up to know that what happened to Brandon Lee feels like that kind of is what's restricting me from even watching The Crow with Brandon Lee and any other Crow movies that have been, you know, made. So I'm not, I'm not a fan whatsoever. I am a fan of Brandon Lee's portrayal and how I saw him, but I've never watched any of the movies. So if you're, I guess huge fans would either be hella disappointed in this, very irritated with this, or they're having an open mind to it. But we're going to check out this clip, man. Again, it looked dope. The trailer looks great. You know, he can't die until he avenges his uh, the love of his life. Then he can finally rest in peace, I guess, and move on to the other side. But until then, this man is just an undead, regenerating, you know, back from the dead force. He's basically a zombie just waiting to exact his revenge. And when the revenge is sought, then he could rest easy. So we're going to hop into this clip, man. Again, a lot of negativity. A lot of people are not... They're not for this movie at all. But let's look at this clip. I'm going to have an open mind about it, and let's check it out. Oh, he's got... <laughs> oh, snap. I love how he uses his body as anything, because he just can't die. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> I, like that. I like that aspect. Ooh, dang, bro. He lucky he probably just lost a few teeth, but he's still good. And you know this movie's gonna be violent. Oh snap. He's trying to get to her. Oh snap. <laughs> oh Obviously, he's not the most skilled fighter at all. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh! Yo. Yep. Dang. It's crazy, and he feels all the pain and everything. Oh, snap, that was vicious. Shoot. Man. Like, again, he's just, he's basically a regenerating zombie, but he can feel the pain. It's all apparent, you know what I'm saying? He's not on Wolverine status. Boy, can't he like that? So it's gonna t it takes time for him to fully recalibrate his body. But fuck that. This movie is definitely gonna be very dark, very dreary. Uh, you know, bloody, gory. You know, it's just 
it's just going to be a dark film, which obviously I'm guessing that resembles the films that were, you know, uh, pat in the past of all the Crow films. It's very gothic, dreary, just, just violent and dark type of film. Again, I would have to build myself up to watch the classic movies. Again, man, I just, what happened to Brandon Lee and Bruce Lee and all that other stuff is just, it's just weird for me to just think to watch it, bro. It's just, it's just, it's just a very eerie feeling to me. Very uncomfortable feeling when I just think about the crow and the whole situation with the Lees. But yeah, man, um, what did you guys think about that official clip? <sighs> Again, I mean, it looks like it's going to be a decent film. Probably, you know, pro a little above a C plus, above average, you feel me? A little bit above average, depending on if you're a huge fan of this or not. I guarantee probably a majority of the cult following of The Crow are not feeling this whatsoever. And I get it. I really do. The way that his character was designed for Bill Skarsgård, he really just has like, looks like a wannabe Joker, I guess. You know what I'm saying? He looks like a Jared Leto Joker. Didn't really, I feel like they could have probably done better with his design. Probably at least do better with the design, but whatever, you know. I know they're probably, I don't know if they're depicting this from a different type of version of a comic book uh, rendition of Eric Draven or another character that's in the Crow universe. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. But again, if you guys are a true fan of a, of a Crow, do you guys see this being a bust? Are you going to go out and support this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Um, uh, any comments to let me know any more of the lore of the Crow? Because again, guys, I know nothing about the Crow. I just know... All the stuff that I've seen on TV and, you know, on the internet and everything about Brandon Lee and those scenes. But, again, guys, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this official clip for The Crow 2024. Get in the back. That fool got wrecked by that semi-truck, bro. But, damn, bro, seeing him push that bone back in his leg. This is going to be kind of, this is going to be a heart wrencher, bro, because, again, he heals, but you can, he can feel that pain. He's feeling that pain, and it's probably going to be the fueling force to keep him going until he exacts his revenge for the people that killed his beloved. But, again, guys, if you're new to the channel, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join my Discord, and get ready for that Patreon. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. She got that bougie goo. I ran up a check on you. I pull up in the farm with you. I just might cop a ring for you. I might give you a baby or two. She got